Hey guys, welcome back to Scheming with Schwartz. Today we're gonna to cover the play duo or double, which is a gap play without a puller. We're gonna talk about the differences between this play, which is gap play without a puller, and a zone play or a man play, which is commonly mistaken for. This play is unique to itself. It has its own rules that vary from zone to man. And this video will help you understand the differences between this play and a zone play. Part two, which will drop later, we'll talk about the actual X's and O's of this play and how it's executed properly, so stay tuned for this one. All right, guys, we're going to talk about this play duo here and how it's different than a zone or a man run. Uh, it's commonly mistaken for a zone run, but there's a lot of differences that will be easy to tell once we go over them. So the genesis of this play is to get as many double teams as possible. So double team here, double team here, double team here. The play is always run strong to a tight end to force these double teams. So. Let's start with the, the, the first difference between a zone play and a duo play. In a zone play, you ID the mic all the time. The center has the mic, whether it's a nickel formation where the wheel's out of here and the mic pushes, you have the mic on this play. On a gap play, on duo, you ID the wheel. So that's a big difference right here because the center is going to work back to the wheel. On gap, you end up all kind of working back. So it's going to be double team, double team up here, double team, double team to the mic, double team, double team up to the sand, and this is why actually you have this wing formation here, or you could do out of a bunch if you want to create these double teams. Double team, double team, double team, you all have your gaps. So if, if the mic for some reason wants a cross dog here, or the wheel wants to hit it here, you have your gap, and that's who you block. So that's a, a main difference. In zone play, you always ID the mic, the backside tackle, then we'll end up taking the wheel, but on this play, the backside is big every time. So if the D tackle moves to right here, and you have an under front right here, you're acing back to the will. The will is still the called linebacker. So that's a big difference between... So when you watch this play on film, notice who the center's working to. The center's working back to the will. It's duo. The center's working up to the mic. It is zone play. That leads us to the... Uh, and also on the backside as well, right? On, on the backside of zone, the, the end will have the will right there. Um, excuse me, the tackle will have the will right there. And on a duo play, the tackle is big on the backside because we got D back, he doesn't have to block the wheel here. Let's go to the back's path here. Remember, on zone play, you can either have a, at any point of this front side leg or, excuse me, the, the front side leg or the back side leg right here. Obviously, uh, we talked about zone, I have the ID right here, you can't have it up there. On this play, it's a gap play, so the footwork is right down here like this. Right? So it's not a zone footwork where you're coming out here, where you're drop stepping. It is downhill right away like a power run, right? Because on power, if you pull this guy right here, you're coming in the A gap. Also very important, on a zone running play, uh, most of the time, not every time, there are bound schemes where this is not true, but most of the time on zone running play, the running back is looking at, at the defense alignment first, the, specifically the front side uh, alignment to make his read. On duo, he looks at the Mike linebacker. The Mike linebacker will, will dictate where this guy goes. If the Mike linebacker it all plays downhill this way, this way, right? The, the back will read on the back will bounce it right here. The mic plays over the top this way, the back will come back here. The mic is the read for the running back on duo. On zone play, D lineman up to mic, or up to any linebacker really. On duo, it is the mic linebacker is the read because he assumed with two double teams they're strong, he can pick whatever hole he wants to run to. A couple more things here. These are subtle things uh, for offensive line play, really. The double teams are a little different as well. So if you're running zone, we, we talked about inside zone right here, you might have a double team right here. First of all, a double team would end up going to the Sam, not the Mike. Um, but you would step right foot, left foot, and kind of give them your shoulder and work up to the Sam. This is a true, this is a true gap double team. So you have a deuce block right here. You're coming in here. You can gallop in there. Uh, you can step, um, you know, you would never really step right foot, left foot. But you come in here. And you double team, it's a hard double team off the ball this way to the mic. Um, if it's a zone play, it's more of a zone double team type of thing up to the Sam. Uh, on the backside of, the, of, of this play, obviously, you're not putting, you're double teaming on zone. You're kind of right at this angle right here to the, to the mic. On this one, you're going to the wheel. So you can kind of come off the ball really, really, really thick and get up to the wheel. So that's a subtle difference between just technique wise as far as what you're going to do. Also, if you want to run this play as well, on zone, you can hide bad tight ends in zone. Um, you can hide them with your double teaming here. Um, you can hide them by coming off the ball. You can hide them by coming back and chopping the guy. There's many ways to hide this guy. You can, you can hide him by 
uh, reverse action, all this stuff. Um, duo, you can't hide the tight end. The tight end's got to block this guy uh, because the play can hit right here. He's got to be able to block him with the U. Um, and so that's the difference in just a personnel thing with these two guys. Lastly, the blocking scheme happens very often in this formation. It's an eight-man box. Strong safety comes in the box. On a zone play, uh, this formation right here, the U blocks this guy. Boom. Right? Because you're working here, here, and these guys are working there. Well, on duo, the wide receiver comes in and blocks that guy. So that's a, that's a little difference there in, in scheme on how this works out. And I'll get into more of the scheme uh, as we move forward, but this is really just a video on showing the differences between double and zone play. So when you watch film, you can understand the difference. Well, that's the difference between duo and a zone play or a man run play. Hope you learned something in this. When you're watching film next time, you can refer back to my video. I really appreciate all the feedback you guys give me. Stay tuned for part two, which will be coming out soon. And again, of course, really thank you guys for watching this.